with it being the Olympic break, there hasn't been a lot of news, a lot of talk going around, but there is a couple of pretty big stories developing as we speak. And we're going to be talking about them here today. One of them is a major motorsports team that competes International is looking to invest more into NASCAR. And who is the driver that will be driving the number 50 for 2311 Racing soon? Hello everyone. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short. And this is my channel where I talk NASCAR. NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. I hope everybody is enjoying the Olympic break. Like I mentioned at the top of the video, there hasn't been a lot of news, a lot of talk, but I do have two, two pretty fun videos coming out this weekend. One video, I'm going to be going over how I think some of these drivers' performances have been, who have been the maybe the drivers that have overperformed and some of the drivers that have underperformed this season. And the other one, not sure what race, but I'm going to be talking about and going over a very historic race in the history of NASCAR. All right, now let's get to these news stories slash rumors. There's a lot of conversations going on about these two things, so I thought I'd bring them up. And we're going to be starting with, what is that motorsports organization looking to invest more into NASCAR? Of course, I'm talking about Andretti Global. And I've talked about Andretti for pretty much, I think maybe since the first video or two of this channel, I've talked about how Andretti's long-term goal, I believe, is to have either a NASCAR team of their own or a full-blown-out investment into another team where they can put the Andretti Global name onto. Over the last couple of seasons, they've really developed a strong relationship with Spire Motorsports. Not just with Spire, but also with Chevrolet, as there's rumors about them actually jumping over to Chevrolet on the IndyCar side of things. And with the last couple of years of them investing into NASCAR through Gainbridge, Gainbridge has been a huge part of Andretti ever since the company was pretty much founded. Gamebridge is very heavily associated with Andretti Global. I'm going to pull up a quote from the video by Andretti Global. And the quote is from the Andretti Global president of J.F. Thorman. I'm going to leave that onto the screen a little bit. But that was one of the reasons why a couple of years ago, if any of you pay attention to the IndyCar series and some of the race teams that participate in IndyCar, Andretti used to be called Andretti Autosport. Then a couple of years ago at this point, I think it was around two years ago at this point, they changed the team name to Andretti Global because they had other race teams and other series all around the world. And ever since then, they're looking more and more into investing in to these other motorsports, including NASCAR, Formula One. The declined bid to Formula One has been well documented here on YouTube and pretty much everywhere. And Dreddy wants to get involved in literally every form of motorsports. I'm very interested to see this. Like I said, if you follow this YouTube channel, I've been saying this for a while. I would really like to see Andretti Global take even more of an investment into NASCAR, whether that's purchasing their own charter or putting more money into Spire, maybe changing the name to Spire Andretti Motorsports. Not sure. I'm very interested to see what the future is for Andretti and NASCAR. And we also know that Marco has a big interest in stock car racing as he's been doing some truck series races and some ARCA races over the last couple of months and last year. So this is a developing kind of story. We'll see where it goes from here. No official announcement from Andretti Global saying that they're investing more into NASCAR or anything like that, but it sounds like it is an aspiration for the race team, for the organization to have a bigger part in NASCAR. Now we're on to the other story, and this one is pretty fun. I'm going to pull up this little clip from social media from 2311 Racing, and we know how a lot of these videos go. They usually have 
the person in the video, the race car driver, either be blurred out or it's a silhouette or something like that. Over the last couple of years, these driver announcements for one-offs or for even full-time rides have been pretty dramatic. And you see here, this potential driver, this could potentially be the driver. It could also be a troll as well. It could be like the crew chief or somebody part of 2311 racing, who knows. But if this is the driver holding this golden ticket, there is a couple of drivers and one most notably that people have been talking about. Let's start with David Gilliland. First of all, David Gilliland already has the relationship with Toyota. He has performed in the Cup Series before. I don't think he's won. He never won a race in the Cup Series. Now that I think about it, he's never won a race in the Cup Series, but was very competitive for a long time in that series and has raced all throughout NASCAR for many years. And like I said, has a very strong relationship with Toyota and probably has a friendship with Denny Hamlin. Ultimately, I don't think David Gilliland is going to be in the car. I don't even, this doesn't even really look like David Gilliland. We'll, we'll have to see. Another driver's name I have seen is Greg Biffle. Of course, Greg Biffle has been away from NASCAR for quite a while. Not all that long ago, though. I, th I want to say it was 2021. He made a one-off start for Kyle Busch Motorsports in the truck series in a Toyota and won at Texas. He's also had a couple of starts with NY Racing, I think, last year. And that relationship soured up pretty bad. I actually made a video talking about that. Some... some payment issues and stuff like that from NY Racing when it came to that. And we haven't really seen the Biff in NASCAR since. We've seen him a lot on social media. We know he's out there still racing and still doing his thing. And he's also made it known before that he's willing to do these one-off sort of races. Greg Biffle, I definitely see as more likely than David Gilliland, mainly because he did win that truck series race in his last race with Toyota. And he's also had a lot of success at the cup series level. And I know he has some friendships with some of the drivers in the garage. I don't know how he, how close he is with Denny per se, but I, I want to say the same thing as I said, I said about Gilliland. I ultimately do not think the Biff is going to be driving the number 50. The next and final driver I'll be talking about is the driver, I think, that is driving the number 50, and I am very excited about it. The last name that I've seen probably mentioned the most among fans, and I agree, is Juan Pablo Montoya. Juan Pablo Montoya, he's a legend. He's one of the greatest drivers in the history of motorsports. Came over to NASCAR around, I want to say, 15 years ago at this point, was around for a couple of years for someone who's never driven a stock car and has really only oval experiences in a champ car, Indy car, an open wheel vehicle. Him coming over to NASCAR very quickly, he performed a very good driver over here in NASCAR. I wish he stuck around because every year I think I saw improvement out of Juan Pablo Montoya. He did get involved in a lot of incidents, a very aggressive race car driver when he got into those stock cars but performed very well on the short tracks but especially on the road courses and we've seen this number 50 car in a lot of these race teams when they bring out a car for a one-off race it tends to either be the daytona 500 or one of these road courses so i'm thinking they're going to pull out the number 50 car for watkins Glen and bring in a road course ringer of Juan Pablo Montoya. And let's make this clear. This prediction is solely going off of if this person in the video is the driver. And I'm not 100% convinced this guy is the driver because he has the golden ticket in his hand. He could potentially be handing the golden ticket to whoever the actual driver is. And it could just be like Corey Heim or something. Who knows? Who knows who's driving the number 50 and at which racetrack but i would like to get my, get your thoughts who do you think is going to be driving the number 50 for 2311 racing apparently it's making one more start throughout the rest of the season where will it be at 
and who will be driving the car. Also, give me all your thoughts on Andretti. Do you want to see Andretti more involved with NASCAR? Do you think they should buy into Spire and invest into Spire and make Spire even bigger than what they're already becoming? Or do you think they should sever that relationship, essentially, and do their own thing and buy a charter? Let me know down below. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week, but that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.